Hello all my Vikings and Shield Maidens. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ron from Night Train Models. In this episode we're going to continue with volume 16 to 20 of building the Hashit Collections Japan Space Battleship Yamato 2202. Let's not waste any more time and get to building. In this volume, we're adding the main bridge and the lighting. Nothing too difficult. The cover at the end is optional, it just snaps in. When the ship was in battle mode, they could raise and lower these shield covers to protect the bridge. Here we are installing the main deck railings. They push in pretty easy and install in only one direction. I will add some Tamiya extra thin to hold them in place and then make sure they are seated all the way down on the deck and straight. This is one of the main deck guns. Feed the power lines through the cog and line up the holes. Four screws hold it in place. I had to back out two of the screws and retighten them. If you're having difficulty getting the screws in, a little bit of dishwashing liquid on the screw helps to get them to cut the thread into the plastic better and to tighten properly. Don't use any kind of oil as someone else can react with the plastic.
The motor for the rocket anchors installs very easily. The motor shaft has a square end that fits into the drive shaft and only can go in one way. Once again use some dishwashing liquid on the screws as the clear plastic is extremely brittle and can crack if you over tighten the screws. Here I am putting another section of the hull together, just two screws with a dab of super glue on them to hold them in place. Next is installing some more fiber optic lights on the main foredeck. I already trimmed and polished the fiber as you've seen me do that before and I didn't want to bore you with that. Just feed the fiber through the brackets and attach them to the deck with a screw, making sure the lenses are seated properly when the bracket is tightened down. <laughs>
This is one of the motors for the main deck gun. I had some issues with the bracket that I'm attaching to it. The screws were slightly too big and the plastic a little too thin. As I tightened them, they cracked the receiving side when I got the screw about halfway through. I had to take them out and super glue the bracket to repair it. I also enlarged the holes a bit so the screw could be tightened without damaging the bracket any further. Feed the wires through the loop on the bracket and install with two screws. The motor has a D-shaped shaft and only fits one way. You have to kind of mess with it a little bit to get it to install correctly. You can see the guns are at three different elevations. This is normal until the motor is powered up. This motor makes the guns go up and down. There will be another motor installed that will attach to the big cog to turn the turrets left and right. And that is it for this week's build. Hey guys, thanks for watching everybody. If you're enjoying the series, please think about subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate the support. As always, comments are always welcome. Stay safe everyone and we'll see you next time. Happy modeling and skull.